Hello there, this is a key quest. We just finished fighting the dragon. In the previous episode, we are now here to uh, clean up this here at chapter three of Ponnet. Weird, weird name, anyways. Dragon's been cleaned up. And now it's time to inflict the maximum amount of, I guess, story listening. Although I wanted to talk too much. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows? Not hard to give us. Oh, yes, I need to say all these things. Blah, blah, blah. Is it so? Damn it. She needs to read all our lines. Pay some people to read these lines. God damn. Is it done? Have I slain a dragon? This must be the herb of grace. It's a lot of it. Now, to leave this forest and... The kitty cat goes, meow. Ooh, boofs. Maybe they're saying thank you. Come in, Linda. It's all right, Linda. The monsters are gathering here. The dragon that ruled this horse has been slain. Not yet. They will not attack us. Not for quite a while. Come in, then. Susano will be awaiting word from us. Now that I have the herb, I can finally face Red Eye. And save Master from the dreadful curse. <coughs> Master, Master Zantana, found the herb, did you? Oh, now you talk. Oh, now you got a voice acting. What the hell? Thou waited for me. Susanna only asked thee to show in us the way in. If I was a voice actor, I would be willing to do these extra lines. I think because. Quite nice. Um, I mean, I know you're at paid, you only do so much, but I think, especially if you're just getting a flat rate, I'd be like, okay, I'm going to do all these lines or whatever. Unless they're like paying per line. I could see it, but I don't know. I'd, I'd be kind of willing to throw in some extra here and there. I have my own mind. A man can tarry where he likes, can't he? <laughs> I mean, especially since. Um, this is the original IP. Oh. Of course he can. Anyway, I'm done tearing. Suppose I'll go on ahead. <laughs> I most appreciate your concern. What? There was no concern. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, well, I just... Uh... Ow, oh, that was quite a whatever guess at the end. Do 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 <laughs> What a strange man. Not strange. I'm sure he was just being caring. Either that or he thinks Hanat's pretty. Which she's pretty good looking, yeah, uh, I'd say. This is a pretty good looking gal. Yeah, for sure. Oh, look, more money. Money, money, money! Money! I spent 30,000. My god, it just hit me. I just threw away 30,000. A lot of money. Did a lot of damage. Like, man, can you imagine if I only did it once? Did it amplify the damage or it made it a lot of hits? I think it made a lot of hits. So if I only did one BP worth. It would have been like 6,000 damage. That would have been worth 30,000, but you know, when I did 18,000. Oh, no, no, sorry. Right now it's like 30,000? I don't know, it was a lot. Oh? Oh? There she has found the curse of grape, did you, child? I'll do what I can. Here, give it to me. Needs a proof or a spell. If it will work right. Thou hast my thanks.
do 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 do. And then. So how did it feel to slay her dragon? First dragon. Hmm. Thou knowest who is there. <laughs> Can't hide it from Grandma. Come on. Listen, dear. If you couldn't slay that dragon, you wouldn't have been signed a, a cinder's hope in a blizzard of surviving encounter with the red eye. Wow, it's worse than a dragon. Okay. You are. Thou art not a woman to coateth her words in sugar, art thou? <laughs> We're seeing much of the point, my dear. There's no point at all. Now, why don't you tell me all about that dragon while we wait there to brew? Hmm. As thou wishest. And then I did Kaicho. Or Concho, yeah. Indeed. And he blew up. Oh, I never. So tell me, dear, how does it feel to take tail to tail? Well. But never much for talking, it was Master who taught me how to sweep stories. Well, that lad was a tongue-tied fool in his youth as well. Um, this and um, that. He could scarcely put two words together. <laughs> Surely you did not that bad. Indeed. Trust me, dearie. What a grain of eloquence he has possesses now is drummed into him by years truly. I'd think twice before you tell him your tale. I'd be jealous to hear you speak so beautifully. Well, well. It's true that he doth not enjoy being shown up in anything. Hmm. Here you go. This should do the trick. <laughs> you be sure to quiff that down one gulp like the moment the moment Red Eye's foul curse strikes you. Thou hast my thanks. Thinketh thee. Yeah. Too soon for that, you can't think me once Santana's back his old self again. Understood. Very well. Hehehehehe. <laughs> Grace times ten. Oh, let's hear what they got to say. Ooh. Shucks. Wow. Shucks. What is it? Often. Oh, nothing just admiring the combat in this potion. Well, he knows what Bruin is, that's for sure. Oh, dost thou judge a mesin to be good or bad? Oh, that's easy. It's right here. Hmm? Why art thou poking me in the chest? Because I'm making a point. The answer is here. Get it? Get it? Got it? Good. Good medicine. Heart and soul. Heart and soul of one that made it. And that old lady has oodles of both. I see it. Thou well, couldst have just said that without the poking. Well, no. Could not. Poking was necessary. Don't you know? Oh, there's a little bit more. Kids! No? No? Yeah. Was it just when leaving? You are upon it? I am. And thou, one of the knights I don't. At your service. I bear word from Lady Eliza. It is about the fiend, Red Eye. Who? She hath found it? Yes, near the desert city of Marceline. She awaits you there. Then that is where I will go. Thank thee. I thank thee as well. If you will excuse me, lady. Hmm. I wonder if she gets stressed by that like that. I don't think so. Taking your leave so soon? Yes, it is time. I apologize for any burden I may have caused thee. My pleasure, dear. There's always room under this roof for my favorite granddaughter. You know, I kind of be expecting her to say, you know, you can just uh, kind of bug me more often. <laughs> the burden of family is no burden at all. There you go, that's a way of putting it. 
thank thee. Looking after her, Alaic. You don't have to tell me. That is my duty, and it will be done. Yes. Indeed. Honey, dear. For all your cleverness, you are as naive as a babe in the woods. Well, she grew up in the woods. You are a pretty girl. If not the beauty I was in my younger days. <laughs> hmm? But I will hold you up with my prattle no longer. Go in safety, my dear. See, I fucking knew it. Hmm? <laughs> She's... Thank thee. When the hunt is done, I shall return, and master with me. She's a bit of a dunce, but you know, she's never kind of experienced these things. Probably has very low EQ, as it were. That's fine. I don't really need it for anything. So she not to be a hunter. And so does Hanat leave still snow behind her. Her quest has now become a hunt. To save her master, she must slay the beast they call Red Eye. With this knowledge, she strides toward her next donation. The city of Marsalim, surrounded by the sands. Sand of the Sunlands. What will become of Alec, and will he ever get the balls to try? <laughs> Stay tuned! But that will be for next time. I want to thank you all for watching. Would please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.